you know what I like to do? Sync stuff. And specifically, I like to sync data. And I like to sync files because I run a content agency where there's so many different files that are going on that good Lord knows that I need help. Seriously, I need so much help from tools like sync.com in order to get my files organized. For those of you that are familiar with other tools out there for file storage, you might be like, well, what's, what's the point of this video? I think that Google Drive, OneDrive, they got too much of a corner on the market, you know? They need to have good competitors out there and sync.com, who kindly sponsored this video, is definitely one of those. You can access your files anywhere, anytime with a secure and synced up system that you can get today. So some of the main features of sync.com that I really like is that it works with all the different apps you know and love. And unlike other tools, you don't need to have it connected to an entire creative cloud. Like when, when you get Google Drive, essentially you're kind of stuck in that ecosystem. But with sync, for free, you get it five gigabytes of secure storage. But for $8 a month, sync.com actually gives you two terabytes of secure storage, which is pretty insane. And for Teams, what's the most insane about this, which I am I'm baffled by, is that you get unlimited storage for $15 per user per month if you buy it annually. That's not something I've seen anywhere. And I just wanted to call that out. And that was like one of the main things that was like, whoa, that's a, that's a key highlight, like full unlimited storage for Teams at a not unreasonable price. I'm uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool with that. So let's dive in and jump into some of the cool features that I really like about this. You can get sync for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. So it's essentially available from everywhere. And what you'll notice here is that we have this folder that is essentially embedded into my user section right here. Now, as you'll notice here, I have a few different folders that are available and are synced between my desktop in this folder system, like the cloud. If I clicked into any of these folders, I'd see the same stuff on both ends here. And you'll notice if I go to the top section here, I can search for files in my fault, go to the web app by clicking on there and log in manually. And then I also can click right on here and press this folder option to see everything within my system here as well. But simple and easy, this entire folder structure is gonna be showcased on both ends of the spectrum. So I have all my different thumbnails that are put within this system. And if I wanted to check out any of the finished thumbnails from the past year, I could. In the exact same way you can do with any other application that's great for file storage, you can see that I can open this up easily and get a preview of the actual image both in here and inside of this, because this is essentially locally storing the files and then syncing it with the cloud. If I wanted to, I can click share as link here, and then it's gonna get an encrypted link that we then have the option to send it to a specific email, adjust the link settings to have an expiration date, have it be only view permissions or view and download, or even view, download, and edit permissions, adjust the download limit, allow comments, and have email notifications. So let's say I wanted to only share this as a view only. I could save this setting for the link and then, and I could even set a password as well if I wanted to, which I think is really cool. <laughs> if I set the password as password RP, trust me, definitely not a password I usually use. And then I copy the link rather than needing to go into the settings again, it'll already be there. So let's say I paste this guy out, send it to somebody else. The only way they could get access to this is if they typed password RP and then I would have view access and be able to enter a comment. This thumbnail looks good to go. So say I were to interact with some of my other team members or interact with people from an external party that wanted to review the thumbnails, I totally could. Now with team shared folders, this would be even easier. So if I create this new folder, that would be finished thumbnails or QA, and I could invite other team members like mcc at riseproductive.com have them be able to view and edit and press create and share. You'll see that on both sides, we have finished thumbnails for QA and this one right here. The indication that it is shared is gonna be this guy. We still can share this as a link and adjust the link settings just as I went through earlier. And I also can manage the share of this folder and adjust the permissions accordingly. So I could add users, adjust the folder settings if I want to. So for example, if I wanted to make it just can view, just can edit, see others and add apps. And as teams scale and as processes scale, this is gonna get a lot easier. So say you didn't want it to be just the finished thumbnails for QA. I mean, you could make a larger folder that could be something along the lines of a shared drive, essentially. So I can rename this to internal content drive and then press rename. 
And then the second that this gets renamed, you'll see not even <laughs> half a second's gone and this ends up being able to be renamed. So then I can grab all these and put it into the content drive. Clicking within this now, it's updating the changes really quick, but it's just so cool to me that I very easily now can have those all together for teams to see that. Now you'll notice on the vault section, there's also a place for you to have a secure place. So if I had a specific video that I'd wanna upload in here, I could drag it in there or any other sensitive files that I'd have. Then I can choose other files if I'd like to add within here, upload anything. And then this is all the stuff that I have in my vault. Now I can share stuff within this vault if I'd like. This is essentially just to have a private section without it auto syncing to your other sections of your account. When it comes to sharing, uh, there are great overviews of what you do have from a sharing standpoint. The team shares are all shared here and then you can still create a shared folder from within here. And then this showcases the links that you've created like I just did with that video. There's a change history that allows you to see everything that's happened, which is great. And it showcases all the different users, what kind of usage we're talking about. And if you wanna add users, you easily can do so. Nothing's easier than having a system where you really do have file storage on your phone, on your computer, not only from a web browser standpoint, but also from a standpoint that you can literally just have a folder within here and then you treat it like the same as what you have on the browser. I love the interconnectivity here and I'm a huge fan of the way that companies like this are trying their best to make our productivity and workflows that much easier. If you like this video and product, make sure to check out sync.com. Thanks again for sponsoring this video and check out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.